<laughs> after that second inning, man, you know, I mean, he's a, he's another batter away from us having to get somebody up, you know, um, drives that pitch count up and then just settled in and and I mean, he's so good at, at kind of controlling himself, controlling the game, controlling his emotions that anything that happens, he's able to right the ship and uh, yeah, gave us everything we could hope for. From your vantage point, what adjustments did he make after that inning that helped him get through six? I don't know. I, you know, I didn't think he was that out of whack, frankly, in that inning. Um, you know, he lost a little bit of command, didn't finish some guys uh, when he had a chance to. You know, I think to start the inning with Davis, got ahead of him 0-2, and then loses them with the walk. So I think I think just sharpened up from a command standpoint. Um, I didn't think he had his great life on his heater today, but you know he's able to rein himself in and really start pitching. And because he's so good at going east and west, north and south, he just gets himself back into the game. And Duhar has been so good offensively for you guys this year. Is it at a point in time where you just expect him to get hits in big spots? <laughs> I know he can really hit. And so, I mean, you know, hits are, hits can be a little bit fickle and, you know, day to day. But I know the, the quality of the bat and the quality of the hitter, it, it's shown up on a really consistent basis for us all season long and um, some more big ones today. Aaron, how would you feel like your pitching has stepped up during this time without Gary and Aaron? What, say that. Your, your pitching has yeah. improved in this period without Sanchez and Judge. Uh, I mean, it's been huge. Um, and then, you know, today, obviously, you know, with a double header for us to just, you know, be able to use two guys, um, you know, it, it's really, it's so important in the grand scheme of things, not just the day, but the, the more guys, you know, when you can tack on runs, but when guys can give you innings that preserve other guys, um, it just has that, it continues to have that effect day by day, and, and guys are doing a nice job right now. Aaron, Duhar has hit pretty much all season, but have you seen any area that's improved for him maybe from the start to where he's at now? Um, you know what? I, I think he's getting more and more comfortable, and, and I think we saw this early, his, his adjustability, and I think the intelligence he shows in the box. He's, he's good at having a plan, but he, I, I think he's got a really good idea of what teams are doing to him, what pitchers are doing to him. So he'll go up there and make certain adjustments. He'll hunt in certain situations to really, I think, do some damage. Um, I think we're going to continue over time to see the power continue to come. Uh, but he's, 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 he's the total package, man, as a hitter. He, 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 he's really talented, you know. He's got all the skill set to be a great hitter, but but he's also got a good head on his shoulders too. Is what he's doing now more impressive maybe than earlier in this season, considering there is no judge and no you know for you know, not a lot of protection around. Him. Yeah, I think that's fair. You know, I mean, you know, we've obviously being banged up and we've needed guys to step up, and he's gone right into the middle of that lineup, and and he's a guy you feel good about when, when, when he comes up to the plate, especially in a big spot with runners on, no matter who's out there on the mound. So, um, yeah, it has been nice that he's continued to evolve the way he has. Are you curious to see how he would adjust when the league adjusted to him after some of that early success? Yeah, I mean, that's always, that's always a thing. You know, in this game, I mean, that never stops. You know, he'll, five years from now, ten years from now, he'll be making adjustments, and I think, I think that's one of the things that's been impressive about him is he's shown that adjustability all season long. Torres made a nice throw from the hole uh, late in the game, but he's made three errors in consecutive games now. Are you seeing yeah. anything, anything there in the past few games? Um, <clears throat> did they call that last one an error? Yeah. No, no, no. The, the, uh, well, no, he made an error earlier in the game. Yeah, earlier and then yesterday, right? That's two. Oh, in Miami, right. Yeah, you know, yesterday the one kind of took bad hop on him, but, you know, he needs to work to really put himself in a great position so that you're in position to handle kind of that tough tough hop. You know, that one, the one today where he, he had to charge a little bit, that's one of those where if you're charging like that, it's more of a one-handed play. If you're able to set your feet, he's got to square up to it a little bit more. But, you know, again, it's, you know, we're asking a lot of him right now, obviously, with, with – playing a new position entirely at second base and playing that so well and now all of a sudden throwing over to shortstop out of need. Um, you know, we we'll continue to grind through it with him, work through it with him, and, um, you know, he, he can play that position. You know, I just think it's a little bit of a time off and, and it, you got to be a good player to play over there. Walker okay? Walk's okay, yeah. Just, just a chance to get one guy at least off his feet for, for half an inning anyway. 
lineup yet? <sighs> I'm going to go sit down and work on it right now. I've got to talk to guys, see where we're at, DH-wise and all that, and we'll, we'll go from there. Do you feel about as good as you could about your bullpen going into game two? Yeah, I mean, you know, Sessa really picked us up there, you know, kind of debating how we should go about that once Hap was done with his sixth inning. But for Sess to really pick us up there with those three innings, you know, you know, essentially we go now with seven, you know, f fairly fresh guys for the nightcap. And, and uh, you know, hopefully uh, Sonny can give us a little distance and then, and then we'll support him with our pen. What are your expectations for Gray in the second game? Um, <clears throat> look, I... He, he, he's done a good job for us in the bullpen. Um, you know, we won't have him up to his normal pitch threshold, you know, when he was starting, but, but not far off of that. So hopefully he can just go out there and attack the strike zone. And if he does that, he'll pitch well.